Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, each passing day, it couldn't be any more clear. We are living as it was in the days of Noah and as it was in the days of Lot. Uh, I mean, I don't have time to do videos all day, but the stories that are coming out, folks, it is so clear where we are right now. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming very, very, very soon. Evil is being called good. Good is being called evil. Uh, this story I want to share with you today, uh, it's another one that's very disturbing. Thank you to all of you that had sent me this um, a lot of different sources reported on it, but this is one recently in from the New York Times. After decades of hints, Scooby-Doo's Velma is depic depicted as a lesbian. The character has long been seen as a lesbian icon. Some fans were thrilled that her sexuality was at last officially acknowledged. So yeah, it's official, folks. Uh, in the new film, Trick or Treat Scooby-Doo, Velma... Uh, is depicted depicted as a lesbian with a crush on a new character named Coco Diablo. You heard that right, named Coco Diablo. You know, it's amazing to watch all the movies and shows that I watched growing up when I was a kid. Now they're being remade uh, with new directors or whatever, and now, you know, it's all about pleasing the LGBTQ, the trans community. Um, and, and, of course, people are loving this on social media. When it came out, when it first came out, this movie, um, and then they're talking about how Velma is now officially a lesbian. People are loving this stuff, folks, on social media. And it's all over our TVs and movies. It's not Scooby-Doo. I feel like I'm doing a story every week now on TV shows and movies that are coming out uh, with new char characters that we've been watching for years that are now all of a sudden gay or they're lesbian or they're trans. And then on social media, people are loving it, folks. Things are backwards. But that shouldn't surprise us because we are told in Scripture, Jesus tells us that this is what it would be like in the last days. And I'm going to go back to Romans chapter 1, verse 28 to 32. The Apostle Paul says, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. I think it's clear as day that's happening right now, folks. We have been given over to a reprobate mind. That whole list I just read to you, people are loving this stuff. People are calling good evil and evil good. And if you speak out against this stuff, this, these abominations that are being celebrated by the world, you are the one that is called evil. But going back again to Romans 132, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. People are loving this stuff. Just go on social media. When these announcements are made of all these movies and TV shows that are coming out uh, with their characters now that are gay, uh, trans, or what, whatever, people are loving this stuff, folks. That's where we are right now. I had to share this one with you today. When I Scooby-Doo is something when I was a kid, when I was growing up. I love Scooby-Doo. And there's so many other shows I loved growing up that now they're coming out saying the characters are gay, they're remaking the shows. It's, it's insane. And our kids are watching, you know, the, this is what our kids are watching. Um, and you wonder why they're all messed up. Folks, that's where we are. Jesus said the end times would be just like this, and we're watching it. Shouldn't surprise us. Uh, but if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now at everything occurring, 
and look at what your Bible says, you will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I am not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. In Romans 5.8, the Apostle Paul records, But God commended his love toward us in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He loves us, but the reality is Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. Heaven and hell are very real literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. If you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell, and I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. I'm begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.